There's just a few days to go before the 2010 World Cup gets underway in South Africa. But did you know that there was a World Cup much closer to home? Jerome Evans has the story. It might not be a capacity crowd, and the teams challenging for top honours might not have made it to South Africa. But Abu Dhabi's amateur seven-a-side World Cup is anything but a friendly. With 10,000 dirhams and a pretty good replica of the Jules Rimet trophy up for grabs, this is serious business. Twelve teams from all over the world entered the competition, and after a hard-fought few days, only two remain. Inform Iran beat a strong Egyptian side to book their place in the final. I think Iran can win. They have a better team. We can do it. We can make it. Iran is the best. They're taking on the United Arab Emirates, who put six goals past Canada in the semis. It's a great feeling, you know. Uh, I'm happy with uh, my team. We're respecting them, but we also have very good players, and we did the right tactics for them. And inshallah, we are going to win. Both teams started cagily, with neither side gaining the upper hand. But deep in the first half, Iran took the lead thanks to a superb run. The UAE fought back, but were unable to summon an equaliser before half-time. Things went from bad to worse for the Emirati side thanks to this strike early in the second half. But the UAE side kept their shape and refused to go down without a fight. They pulled one back thanks to some solid teamwork. And after Iran failed to capitalize on their opportunities, the equalizer came at last. Then it was time for Iran to turn on the magic with a free kick in a dangerous position. 3-2 to Iran. It was an action-packed game with more goals than any real World Cup final since 1986. But in the end, the UAE team was sick as a parrot, while Ahmadinejad's men lifted the cup. Final score, Iran 3, UAE 2. Jerome Evans, Inside the National.